Create this Excel KPI chart with me in just two minutes. Like and save for later if you don't have time right now. Our scores range from one to three, and I manually assign them along the bottom in the gray, but you can link this to any data set you have. Then it's an if statement, and we need to say if the total score at the bottom is the same as the left, we need to insert a one, and then drag and copy that over. Then highlight your data and insert a chart. We're going to click delete to remove the title and the legend. Then let's right click on this and format the data series because we need the gap width to be zero and the overlap to be 100. Close that out. Now we need our images. So we're going to use icons for this. So go to insert icons. And if you find the signs and symbols that makes it easy, let's get an X, a check and a minus and then hit insert. I'm going to space these out so they're easier to look at and verify we got the right ones. And now what we can do is click on them after we remove our grid lines. Let's click on our icons. And if you go into graphics format, you'll see that there is a styles option. And this is where you can change the color. Let's turn the X a bright red. And then we need to click on each one and go up to the graphic styles. Let's do a gray for the dash. That's more of a neutral color. And then the check could be a green. So again, let's do the same thing and select green. Now that we have these in place, we can control C and right click on this chart with format. And then when you go to the paint bucket, we need to go to fill and then choose the picture option and then click clipboard and it will paste it from what you just copied. Repeat that step, control C on the dash and then go to the paint bucket. We need to make sure that you're selecting the right section. And then last but not least, two is a pass. And so we wanna make sure that we line those up right. And then paint bucket, and we're gonna clipboard that. So now you can see that anything with a two is green. So now this looks a little weird. So just resize this down to make sure everything is a circle. And then let's insert a title here real quick. Let's call it something like sales dashboard. This could be the start to a really nice dashboard if you put your KPIs at the top and then you could add more data at the bottom. And then let's just get rid of some of these grid lines and let's resize this and completely cover over our initial data set. Looks great. 